Hi guys, ready? Check this out. The credit of this setup goes to Iman Shirani. He came up with this idea in, in Typeflow group. And for me it works in the way that I want to learn, keep it for myself and also share this knowledge. Because in Facebook everything goes down, down and you can never find again. The way this setup works is with large faces. You don't want many many faces like that to expect one big cloth. The other thing that you're gonna need is one tie wind. You can check my values. Is relative to the size of what you're using, of course, of your scene. One tie flow, uh, tie collection. To easily put those items, you can press X in your keyboard and just write tie collection, for example. And here you have, so it's very handy. So one tie collection will collect the cloth. And the other tie collection will be those pieces that are gonna hold the cloth in place. So let's make a breakdown of the flow. You understand how it works and why you need big faces. Uh, here's baseline. So first, you're gonna give a birth to the the object. So is the tie collection again? The tie collection is take the plane number one, right? And then. You're gonna break the, the faces, individual parts. It will be more obvious when we scale down, and that's necessary. Then we're gonna subdivide. The subdivision will define uh, how many faces your cloth will get. More faces will be more soft, less faces, less, is more like plastic, if you understand. Of course, you can change that, some parameters inside the cloth binding. But for example, if I put value 10, you can see this not going to be so flexible. So my setup here, 2.5 was the sweet spot. The baseline, the cloth bind will give the cloth properties. At this point, you can stop displaying because it converts this cloth. Now you see that's a radar cloth. And then that's the part that is interesting. Property test. You're going to choose bind count. I will display what's happening. By default, it's come with 100, so everything will be hold in place. So you can bring this down to zero and start increasing until you see that the borders of the cloth are hold in place only the yellow because correspond to this color here you can put whatever color you want you're gonna see it starts holding only the border more you increase more go inside so that's the key for this dynamic setup what it happens is it detects this border by this value and go and stop those vertex and switch off from cloth to deactivated the binding. So this part is, let's say, is dead. So then these are already working. Of course, we need to activate the force. I will come back to surface test inside in a second. And that's the setup basically. The surface test inside I put for those parts here. It will test the surface tie collection number two so it's easier to select everything inside the scene. If I move this here we'll hold in the other part. Right. So it tests inside, and if all the particles that are 
inside of this volume will be also deactivated. So if we pre increase the radius. It will hold there. And then for the control, if you need, you can put a slow setup just to have more art control over your scene. Basically, that's the setup. Now that it's working, we can just go here, we can close. Type flow and whatever you need you can just add and it will automatically work dynamically. If you take the box and divide there you go. Something like that can happen so this defect here so what you need to do is go to proper test and increase a little bit. Mine I checked that it was working with 14. And depend of the size, so this value is the critical part here. So that's it. Thank you guys. See you next one.